What is going on all my traders and investors? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are talking about should you buy NEO stock at its current share price of about $42 per share. And specifically, we are going to be looking at eight key things to take away from NEO's earnings report. And I do want to point out if you guys want to be part of a Discord community where I send out my buy and sell alerts every time I buy or sell options or shares, go ahead, hit the link in the description. That is free 99 to do that. Also, if you guys want to be part of the most honest YouTube channel, on YouTube. I am not pumping stocks to get views, none of that crazy stuff. I own every single company I talk about or have a trade in that company, and I am transparent and show everything on this channel. So if you want to be a part of that, the watermark is in the bottom right hand corner. You guys don't even have to leave the video to do that. Also, hit the like button while you're down there, make it turn blue. But like I always say on this channel, it is 2021 and we have no time to waste time. So let's jump right into it. So I'm sure you guys are already aware that the EV stocks got absolutely destroyed today. NEO down 13%, Xping down 11%, Li Auto down 8%. But NEO's earnings were actually pretty good in my opinion. Now, we're going to be reading from this Benzinga article, and I encourage you guys to read this if you guys want to, just to go over it again. But I'm going to read you guys the eight key takeaways from this article that you guys should know if you're invested in NEO. First things first, it says the company reported $1 billion plus in quarterly revenue for the first time, but the loss per share was wider than expected. And this is the first key takeaway into why the earnings were good. They topped over a billion dollars in one quarter so yearly they should do over four billion dollars and they are a very baby company compared to the total addressable market of the ev sector in china when lee the ceo of neo was asked if they will enter the mass market he said it's possible that neo will foray into the mass market but the neo brand will continue to focus on the premium market neo's founder chairman and ceo said in response to questions during the q a segment of their earnings call the reduction in investments in joint ventures with GAC and Changan has given NEO the flexibility and possibility to try different approaches to enter the mass market, Lee said. This, according to the NEO chief, is part of the company's long term strategy. Now, moving on, Lee confirmed that NEO will enter European markets in 2021. He said the company has put in place a sales and service network in Europe. It says Neo is aiming to capture a significant slice of major overseas markets, although it will take time and effort to accomplish this, Lee said. Also, the company has started nascent research on entering the U.S. market. Now, this news alone that they are thinking about entering the U.S. market, which is the third biggest total addressable market, and confirming that they are entering Europe, the second biggest total total addressable market should have bolstered Neo's stock price up higher. Considering when the earnings call came Monday, they were down 20% for the month, completely getting destroyed from $62. I think they hit $64 at the high down to like 45 when the earnings call happened. That sh this should be positive news. I'm taking this as very positive positive news. The Europe EV market is bigger than the American EV market and China is the number one EV market. There's no reason NEO should be down like this, especially 13% for the day. That is a bit of an overkill. Now this next segment titled the impact of NEV credit sales on NEO's margin, basically saying that their margins have improved. The average cost of selling price per unit has went up $1,545, while manufacturing costs and material costs fell slightly. And it says the gross margins have improved by 1.8%. So nothing too crazy here, pretty minuscule type information. Now it says the impact of chip supply shortage on NEO. And this could be one of the reasons why NEO stock is down, along with the fact that they set their expectations too high for investors. It says, right now, NEO has sufficient chip supply to support production, the company said. The supply shortage could become a constraint in the second quarter, the company said. NEO said it has been proactive in firming up supply deals with its partners since last year to ensure a significant chipset supply. 
In quotes, we believe for the second quarter we should have the chip supply to meet our basic demand, but the risk is still quite high according to the automaker. Now, Neo on near-term EV demand and Model Y competition. While stating that the first quarter has been seasonably weak owing to subsidies and other policies, Neo's Lee said that the company doesn't prefer to emulate Tesla Inc. in cutting prices and boosting order backlogs. Instead, he said the company prefers to have stable order performance. In quotes, we would like to focus on the service and experience improvement as well as building a positive word of mouth reputation in the market because we do not want to cut the price, Lee said. And I think this is important because unlike Tesla, Tesla, Tesla keeps cutting prices and they cut prices, they cut prices. To what extent can you keep cutting prices? You can't forever cut prices. So I think this gives Neo a competitive advantage in the long term because eventually they will be able to get down to size and scale the same way Tesla has done by it in terms of cutting prices but they don't have to sacrifice the margins in this case right now, but eventually over time you should cut prices, which is basically what Lee is saying, but they do not plan to start cutting prices now, which is good in my overall opinion. And the Chinese consumer is a bit different than the American consumer, where whereas they would rather pay for quality instead of feeling like they're getting quality, but they're not so as much just because they're getting a cheaper price. Now on to number seven, Neo's production capacity. From the current production capacity of 7,500 units per month, Neo expects an increase beginning in July. Annual production production capacity will likely reach 150,000 units under one shift and 300,000 units under two shifts. Earlier by the end of 2021 or in the beginning of 2022, the company said. So this is incredible news. This is insane news. They were estimating 130,000 vehicles produced in 2021. Now they just upped it to 150 units per under one shift and 200 and 300,000 units under two shifts, either by the end of 2021 or in the beginning of 2022. So they severely up their guidance, which we will see if they can deliver on this. This could be a positive, a very positive catalyst or a very negative catalyst. So only time will tell on this. Now, as far as R&D investment says Neo plans to double its R&D investment while acknowledging that continuous R&D of products and technologies is the cornerstone of sustainable development Neo said it seeks to double R&D investment to around 5 billion yuans in 2021 now this is great news because ultimately a company that does not evolve is not a long-term company that I would be personally invested in and the more you spend now, just like being a real estate agent in my case, the more you spend on marketing yourself and marketing your services, the more you will get back in return. You give and you get. That is the whole point of a business in any form of the nature of a business. That's what you do. You give and you get, you market and you get back and you receive back in return. So that is the whole basis of the earnings call. Most important things you guys should know as NEO investors. If you guys are NEO investors, maybe you're not. Comment down below. I respond to every comment. On that note, I would love to know if you guys are invested. So comment down below like I just said. That is all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video or got anything out of it, Go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe for me, it's free 99 and like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to be part of a Discord community where I send out all my buy and sell alerts, all that, all that stuff, I'm not going to give the whole spiel, the link is in the description to do that, and thank you guys for being with me tonight, I will see you in the next one, peace out.